Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is you deserve a great sex life. Your body is your body. Your mind is your mind. What's happening in here in your sphere of your personality or your personal vehicle is your business. It's your, it belongs to you. So you are a sexual being. And very often what tends to happen in society, in life, through our sexual conditioning is that we uh, tend to be split. We tend to be separated with the idea of pleasure, the idea of uh, beautiful sensations, the, the, the idea of uh, fulfilling sex life because we get distracted in, um, by life in practicalities, in having to make money or deal with all sorts of practical things that have nothing to do with creating pleasure and beautiful sensations in your life. So entering into a state of ecstasy, into a state of orgasmic trance that is sometimes almost like semi-permanent in your existence, takes a little bit of time, focus and understanding. And you need to be really smart in the way you engage into this battle. Because the moment you are talking about sex, you know, the moment I'm recording these videos, there are all sorts of forces out there which might be reacting to it. They might be triggered by simply the idea that pleasure is good for you. Pleasure is healthy. Pleasure is great. I want more sex in my life. I want more pleasure. I want to enjoy. I want sensations. I want to be delighted. I want to be in a state of ecstasy. Think about what I just said. Why is it that concepts ideas or energies like this one will be threatening to anybody. Why? <laughs> Where was this uh, guilt and shame around sexual expression uh, developed? So there is a lot of conditioning here, okay? We are talking about years and years of uh, school training and relating to parents, family members, friends, society that is creating a kind of lead of suppression on sexual pleasure. Why is that? Okay, why, why is it that in the first place that that lead, that suppression exists? And there is a reason for it. It's because sexual energy is really powerful. It is extremely transformative. And when you start unleashing it, imagine that you are in a tribe with maybe 10 people and everybody's having sex with everybody and there is lots of juice and lots of energy. There's going to be lots of drama, lots of conflicts as well. There's lots of fire. So when you activate the sexual energy, what happens is that you bring in lots of juice, lots of shadows. And uh, if you check in, you might be a little bit challenged or afraid of your own sexual power. You know, try this. Imagine that you're saying right now, I am an erotic being. I love sex. I want sex in my life. Say these things. Say them straight away right now. How does it feel? Does it feel right? Does it feel it's encountering some slight discomfort, emotional discomfort? If you feel any form of discomfort when you say something like that, when you say, I want beautiful orgasms, why, why would that create discomfort? Think about it. The reason why it does is because of conditioning, because the, we are um, trapped in neural pathways and ways of thinking that are suppressing the idea of freeing our sexual energy. Sexual energy is wild, it's powerful. Very often what happens in, in our brains or in our lives as human beings is that we are a bit scared or a little, a little bit challenged by what's too wild, by what's just free flow like that. You know, you see uh, uh, two tigers fighting. <laughs> You know, it's like there is so much energy, so much juice, so much power there. And so the idea of freeing your sexual energy is not just open the lid and let it all flow. No, it's like you need to add direction, you need to tame it. This is why tantric sex is such a powerful thing, because it gives you mindset structure. It says we are going to open the, that lid together. We are going to open the power of your erotic self, we are going to open the power of your sexual energy and start freeing it and give you 
as well directions on how to tame, how to master that energy. It's not just about, that's it, we set it free, and then what, what do we do with it? No, it's like we set it free, and then we give it some, some direction, some guidance, so that it is polarized and it is directed in ways that are going to be um, successful for you and the people around you. <laughs> you know, we don't just want to open that and then, uh, you know, you might be in a marriage, that's the end of your marriage, uh, you might start creating fights with everybody, quit your job. I mean, some of the, the change that you might encounter when you engage into tantric sex might be really powerful and may, might be life shifting. But the idea is not to, uh, to, to use that as a power of destruction. It's really to, the idea to use it as a power of, of creativity, of um, <clears throat> enhancing and developing uh, things in your life, aspects of your life, that are going to make your life better, not more difficult, more challenging, or more, uh, yeah, more complicated. So you get the idea. You deserve more pleasure. You deserve a beautiful sex life. You deserve it. You're a human being. Why not? Why not expand in there? And we are going to give you tools that allow you to master that energy as well, not just to free it in all uh, directions in chaotic ways. No, it's like we, we keep it safe. We give a certain uh, direction to sexual energy so that it doesn't become this uh, overflow of uh, creative, uncontrolled, destructive fire. Okay? You get the idea. So in sex, in sexual energy, this is why maybe you feel a little bit you know, anxious and a little bit uh, almost threatened by your own erotic power is because there are shadows in sex, lots of shadows. There are lots of things that are traumatic experiences, you know, conditioning from society. There is lots of uh, juice and lots of untamed energy there. So when you enter into that forest and face that, that wild tiger of your own erotic power, yeah, you want to have some tools on how to communicate, how to establish partnership with that energy. Makes sense, right? We are in on a wild, powerful journey. I'll see you soon.